Hello. <clears throat> Today I'm going to talk about the uh, first Predator film. Um, the 4K Blu-ray that I got as well as the Blu-rays of the first two. This little uh, uh, two-disc little collector uh, thing the jig, I guess, but oh, I um, <clears throat> you know, it's been a while since I've uh, <clears throat> uh really watched these uh, uh films and uh. I just was going through what I haven't watched in a long time, and <clears throat> I realized Predator was a movie that I hadn't seen in a long time, and uh, figured uh, might as well watch it again, and then, you know, just probably, like, you know, watch all the sequels uh, to it. Uh, and so that's what I'm doing. So I'll probably, you know, no, no doubt, uh, in the next uh, few videos or so, I will talk about all of these films, uh, Alien vs. Predator, not being uh, <clears throat> one of them uh, or any of them because, well, you know, those aren't exactly seen as canon specifically. You know, those are just sort of like fun crossover films. Uh, whether one enjoys those or not, it's another story. Um, but Predator is a, you know, it's a very good film, science fiction and action, and also some horror, you know, because we see, you know, people are skinned, and uh, like early on when, you know, Dutch and is a rescue team, and uh, you know, Dylan, the CIA agent, you know, they're supposed to be, you know, fighting some uh, very important uh, American, like, uh, politician that's uh, been kidnapped by, uh, some, like, the local guerrilla. Very right nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I believe, like, specifically a diplomat. Uh I'm just watching all of these sort of like back to back, so apologize. Some of these might be uh, be going in my mind and sort of uh, you know jumbled up a bit. But you know, they're supposed to be finding uh, an American uh, yeah, diplomat. I'm pretty sure, you know, some political uh, guy who again uh, has been captured by a local guerrilla uh, unit uh, but it turns out that that was a lie in order for them to go and get uh, uh, a lot of evidence and uh, stuff of uh the gorillas having <clears throat> weapons and that, you know, they're going to, like, smuggle into, like, the or local communists. This is, takes place in Central uh, America. And uh, because of that, you know, this is what Dutch and his uh, guys do. They're upset. He's obviously upset over this. Uh, all of them are. Uh, but they have to now go back into the, to where the extraction point is because, you know, they can't get them any closer due to the fact that, uh, it's, uh, it's not safe. It's not a safe area. And, uh, you know, they found, you know, green berets earlier, uh, where you know, were all skinned and, uh, they were sent on a, you know, mission similar, but, you know, Dutch's team could get the job done, so that's why 
they were all there and Dutch uh, knocks out a woman who was part of the gorilla uh, uh, group Anna and uh, yeah uh, they're all then being hunted by something uh, they can't see but they know it's lurking out there and so you know they're all heading to the to where they can uh, be extracted uh, from but all again being hunted and followed and uh, picked off really like one by one and uh, it's quite apparent where if you also if you don't have a weapon the this uh, predator as we all know it uh, has won't kill you or anything because you know it's uh, it's like it's not fun if the thing you're hunting isn't able to have a chance to try and uh, uh, kill it so you know it's uh, you know Anna uh, pretty much doesn't really have any weapons for the most part except for initially she has a pistol but then Dutch uh, uh, knocks her out and then she's being taken and then she takes uh, Hawkins gun uh, no not, not Pancho's I Hawkins was with her uh, initially when she they encountered uh, the predator and got her uh, his blood all over her because he catches up with her and you know he wants he's trying to like get her to just stop running and everything but uh, he gets killed and then you know Poncho gets wounded and you know there's Billy the Native American who news the predator is out there and, it's, and there's mac who's yeah good friends with blaine played by jesse ventura uh who gets killed and you know all of them you know of course get killed um uh, pretty much but um except for anna and dutch and uh the, the ending with the uh, Dutch and the Predator and how they're fighting, you know, Dutch doesn't have any more guns and, you know, and the, the Predator's been damaged, uh, that, that whole, like the technology uh, using for it to be invisible is damaged due to the being in the water and so, yeah, he's able to see what the predator looks like as well as being covered in mud after getting out of a river uh, he uh, you know, uh, isn't able to read him through the uh, you know is able to read his body heat so uh, he covers himself in mud and prepares to fight and they do and of course by the end of it all Dutch is uh, victorious and it's really cool how they at the end of it all they are like fighting one on one and uh, the predator takes its mask off and then we see uh, what, it, what the predator really looks like and uh, it's just very uh, very unique and quite creepy and you know uh, uh, you know, I also uh, want to mention it here with, with the whole horror aspect I mentioned earlier. You know, we see how the predator um, yeah, collects skulls, like trophies from what he has uh, been hunting. Grabs, reaches in, grabs the spine, and pulls it out, and with the skull, and you know, cleans it, and just. Makes it look as good as it can, and not all bloody. And it's it's, it's quite something to see, you know, uh, with this film. And uh, 
you know, uh, this is a excellent movie, fantastic. Um, Schwarzenegger is amazing, um, as is everybody. Um, Carl Weathers, uh, Shane Black is in it, you know, who uh, wrote uh, *Lethal Weapon*. Uh, but yeah, everybody involved in this in this film uh, did a great job. I need to watch the 4K version, which looks very good. Um, uh, very excellent uh, transfer, so if one uh, doesn't have uh, the 4K version um, of this, uh, and you really enjoy the film where you think like uh, it's a movie where you don't mind... Uh, upgrading because you know every again not every film you need to get for 4k if you already have it on like blu-ray for instance but i do think that the uh, 4k version is quite good um, looks very good you know looks good sounds good uh it's really a, a fantastic film and i really like uh, watch looking at the behind the scenes which for this it's just on blu-ray which i'll just have here Just like the normal one on its own, the Ultimate Hunter Edition. So, and uh, yeah, the it's just black and blue for the 4K and the normal Blu-ray discs, with just the logos being all that special. Which, pretty sure I showed off when I initially uh, got it and had like an update. So. I'm not really gonna do that again here, but it is, it, it's one of those things that's uh, a very minor thing, doesn't really uh, impact anything overall, but it is something that's fairly noticeable where, or not necessarily noticeable, but it's like, you know, as time goes on, it's kind of a shame that artwork on discs doesn't really exist uh, the most unique thing would be like the title on the movie that's really it nothing else seems to matter overall uh, in terms of what's what the disc looks like <clears throat> you know it's a disc who cares but you know the artwork on this this disc um as well as the second predator and the third predator film uh they're all good though the fourth film the predator uh it's just blue and you know black so that's just something that's kind of unfortunate i i think you know again it's a little nitpick but you know uh with the special features and you know that you do get, even though it's all on the Blu-ray disc, and I know people have complained about the quality on the Blu-ray being like, you know, it's not as great as it should be, you know, there's like DNR and such, and uh, like they're getting rid of a lot of the film grain and such, and so it doesn't look as great as it could, but with the 4K version, it does look quite well. Um, I don't know, I've never had a huge issue overall with the normal Blu-ray uh, version, but that's me, and I'm probably alone in that, but, you know, the 4K version, if, perhaps if part of the reason you're hesitant to, you know, upgrade because of, perhaps, uh, the experience you had with the uh, Predator film on Blu-ray, the 4K uh, uh, transfer is very good, so I would recommend uh, getting this, or at least individually, if you're not the biggest fan of the sequels, you can always, of course, get it on its own. Um, so yeah, um, I'll probably, in the next, like, uh, three videos, 
after this. I'll probably just talk about the remainder alien films. It's been a while uh, since I've done sort of like a proper full-blown franchise. And I'm thinking I'm doing uh, that a little more. See what happens. But, yeah. Uh, First Predator is really good. I've liked it ever since I saw it when I was like... 12, 13, I would say. Somewhere around there. Um, great film when I first saw it then and still is now. And uh, It's a movie that I can just watch. And, you know, I'm quite confident in saying that I'm really tired of. And I'm happy that... Uh, for the excellent transfer that this has and all the special features on here. So, yeah. Sequels range, you know, from quality of being either good or meh. Uh, but the original will always be good. So, great film overall and uh, everyone involved, again, just did a great job. So, um... Thomas Brothers had a great script, and uh, John McTiernan, Tiernan, yeah, he did a great job uh, directing uh, this film, and also he directed uh, the first and third Die Hard film. So if you didn't know that, there you go. So uh, yeah, that's really all I have to say. Hope all of you are having a great week, great weekend, great day, and I will see you all next time.